Alright, so here we go, approaching our next dreadful crimes. Next stop, murder. Hey, you're not the usual guy we talk to. Solve the mystery of the body found on the banks of the Thames. Who are you? You're not the author. Hey! Someone help! Some trap found something down there! Looks like foul play! Okay. That's lovely. Alright, let's go to the riverbank. See what's going on. Uh oh. It's kind of dirty down here. I love how we gotta step on them to inspect them. Uh, body. Male body dressed in the manner of a wealthy businessman. He's wearing only one shoe. The man has stained multiple fractures and can't even fall from a great height. No identifying documents. All right, one clue, uh, two clues, one suspect. Where are our clues? Where the heck are our clues? Blues clues. Oh, I think I see one up here. An arrow. <laughs> no, it's just a coat. Uh, let's see. Coat pointing, pointing in a certain direction. A uh, rich man's coat with a name sewed into lining. Matthew Killian. I should go back and ask about this. Well, we will ask about that. Where is the other clue? It's a pretty big area here. Usually they're not so wide. Uh, it's not over here because that's already the end. Huh. I'll talk to you in a minute, buddy, but... Well, that's just water. Just trying to make sure. Where could this other clue be? Not here, not here. Can we... Okay, oh, I guess we can climb up here, can't we? Is that a clue over there? Or is that out of the... what the hell is it? No, that's not a clue. Blue, I thought I saw yellow besides him. Was the fire the clue? Uh, it's so annoying having to walk at this pace, but unfortunately, like, if I speed up, he'll lose his, uh, um, he'll lose his eagle eye vision. Walk by the fire, but oh, well, that's not the clue. All right, let's go talk to this guy, and then we'll figure what the hell is going on. I heard a splash, and right quick pulled this bloke out of the shallows, dead as a mackerel. Hmm. I live there now, if you can call it living. I lost my job, didn't I? No need for the likes of me when a machine can do the work. A nice warm coat like that on a dead man? What do you expect? I snatched it before <laughs> somebody else came along to nick it. Always like a silver you. lining. I bet the clue's at the top, because I mean, if it fell from the top, right? What's this shiny object? A 
A broken silver watch. The hands have stopped just after midnight. Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. Why? The guy would have stolen it, wouldn't he? Yeah, I don't think I can do that. Uh, but I could jump into the water. Now, let's go talk to our buddy here. Mr. Opportunist. The midnight train. That must be the 616. Stops in the station down the road. If you hurry, it might still be there. Great. Alright, that opens up another investigation zone. What is wrong with this guy? I'll squat. Victoria train station. Alright, let's go check it out. Alright, here we are at the train station. I don't know what he's talking about down the street. I mean, like, I felt like this was like two towns over. Um, but alright, so we got just the suspect here. The train master. Train 616. Right oh, of course it is. Oh, man. How do I catch it? Where's the train? Ah! That's not where I want to go. Climb up these stairs, you dope. That's not where I want to go either. How do I get to the train? Alright, obviously that's not the way, so let's go back down. <laughs> ah. Alright. Two clues, two suspects. Oh man, this is like per train car though. Uh, Alright, so we got a letter here. <sighs> letter. Killian will be on the 616 train to Cardiff send papers. You must prevent him from signing them at all costs or we shall be ruined. Okay. And the pistol. A uh, small ivory plated derringer chamber for two bullets, but one is missing. Wonder why. Oh, the train's moving. Crap. Mr. Wolf had a Where were you last night? Then the young lady invited herself over to have a glass with them. Mm hmm. Mr. Wolf became terribly tired, even though he'd only had one drink. He toddled off to bed well before midnight. I stayed in the dining car for a few drinks with the barman. Mr. Wolf bought him drink after drink. Then they got angry. But the young lady came over, and it's obvious that Mr. Killian was interested in a rendezvous like. Mm, Around about sure he was. 30, Killian and her left together. Very interesting. I had Where were you last night? In car with Killian. We had business dealings in the past. It was a pleasant surprise to discover him on this train. Pleasant surprise, I'm sure it was. I felt unusually tired and came back here to get some sleep. I suppose there were some disagreements, but there always are when a great deal of money is involved. Mm -hmm. Like enough to kill him? Sam, he's a trusted valet. He's terrifically strong, which makes him useful in many situations. Uh, I'm sure he's very useful. Oh, this is Sam. I've been Mr. Wolf's valet for going on several years. He's frail and needs a man like me to help him about. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's make it towards the back and then we'll move forward. Why don't we stop it? That way. The young lady. Two clues and a suspect. Clue number one. Let's go through her purse. Uh, contains the letter. How goes it, Viv? Hook any more fish? It's a lovely caper you've got going. I need to find me a bo bonnie scheme like that. 
Uh, let's have a glass next time you're in Soho. Love your sis. I believe I should reinterrogate a suspect. I know a handwritten note. Come to the restaurant carriage I quickly. If someone can tell me more about this. Vivian, tell me about last all. evening. I had a drink of some gents and then retired to my sleep. Are you sure about that? Someone slipped a note under my sleep door a few minutes before midnight. It said I should come to the dining car. I went, but only Ryan and Wolf's man were there, and they were both drunk. Uh huh. The rich fella. I did talk with him. Very charming. But a single woman has to be careful, you know? Did something happen to him? She is I such a suspect. Why. I flirt with rich blokes and the barman slips him a mickey. I take him back to my sleeper and they nod off before I have to do anything shameful. They wake up thinking they had a night of fun and had me a few quid. That's what happened with Mr. Killian, but he was gone when I come back from looking for the man who left the note. I don't believe her at all. Uh, oh, wrong way. We gotta go this way. Let's investigate eight more people. Oh, we gotta talk to this guy again, huh? Uh, this guy keeps becoming a suspect. You mean the young lady? She and Killian hit it off famously. Embarrassing, really. Okay. So, I think, so far, he's, like, the primary target. Um... That lady, I got a feeling like maybe she was involved, but she's a hired chick. Like, uh, I don't think she was really the one masterminding the whole plot to take this guy out. Just my opinion so far. I mean, we still got where the hell is the other clue? Did the control shake because I was by the clue. Where is the clue? Oh. Wait, do I gotta go up there? Oh man. Huh. What is this up here? A shoe. And footprints. Uh, caught in a bolt at the top of the carriage is a shoe matching the one found on the victim. What was he doing on top of the train? Uh, so weird. Alright. Now let's talk to this guy. Who are you? Luke. Where were you last evening? Some noises on the roof woke me up briefly. You say someone was thrown from up there. You have to be a very strong fella to drag someone up onto the roof. Uh-oh. Vivian had another of her dupes in her compartment by then. After that, I remember people going past me from time to time, but I was half asleep. Uh-huh. Wake off. Killian was on this train. Cool. I used to work at his foundry. I've never even seen him. None of us workers ever knew what he looked like. That one. Clever little minx. She and the bombman got a little scam going. I think everyone on the staff knows about it. So what do we got in here? Three clues. And two suspects. Where's the clues? Are they on the roof too? I saw them when I was up there. But like it was like seeing them through the floor. What the hell? How did I not see a single... How did I not see a single clue in here? they all in the other? That's weird. Because this is technically two cars, but I, uh, I just passed one of the clues. But Alright, it's okay. Is that a newspaper? Uh, yep. Article about Matthew Killian's efforts to close an enormous business deal in Wales. It notes that Killian is well known for replacing workers with machinery. There's a likeness of Killian in the paper which matches the victim. Hmm.
small box of sleeping pills, it is half empty. That's what the bartender used with the with what's her face. The bill. Uh, pamphlets. Down with the industrialists. Down with the monarchy. Revolution is only way. Where were you? It was a typical Peter. Evening. As far as I knew, nothing unusual happened until you came aboard with this story of a murder. <laughs> so am I the suspect? I was tidying up in the passenger car. Around midnight, Vivian ran through. She thought someone was looking for her. Just another wealthy passenger. They're all pretty much the same. She rides the train often. Jeez, what weird She's angles. Friendly with the other passengers. I'm sure she's very friendly. Why is he so stand up? Oh man. We already saw that clue, right? Yeah, those sleeping pills. Man, I don't know where this is gonna leave me. Uh, last evening. A couple of passengers came in and had a sort of business meeting. One of them was buying a lot of drinks for the other, and then they started to argue. But Vivian went over and joshed them out of it. Oh, uh, well, it's a noisy train. Let your passengers have trouble getting to sleep, so I keep sitting if you're behind the bar, yeah? I'm sure you do. Nice bloke. Came here after being sat from a foundry a few months ago. I'll tell you, he looked white as a ghost after he served the businessman. She's a frequent passenger, that one. Hangs about with the wealthier sort. Likes to entertain them, if you take my meaning. Yeah, I helped Vivian fleece the dupes. I slipped a pill in the wine for the table. Both gents got sleepy, but Vivian picked the richest one. I think it's got I mean, like, I guess it could be this guy, since he could have looked at the picture and figured out who he was. He's a very strong bloke. I got my arm mangled in one of the damn machines they put in. Then Killian sacked the old crew. Peter, he helped me get hired as train staff. Is that everything? Mm. <sighs> Should we accuse this guy? Strong guy. That's not Peter. Uh, wait, which one's Peter? No, I don't think it was him. I th I'm going to go back to the other guy. Uh, he was frail. Maybe trying to help out his buddy? You. I was in the dining car, carousing with the barman. He's a good bloke. <sighs> oh, so I'm such a dope. I reread the uh, clues because yeah, you know, you talk to a bunch of people here, so you forget what they, what happened. So this guy Peter, the the big strong guy. Um, he got fired from a foundry like not too long ago. I'm sure he was fired from Killian's. Uh, he knew the whole thing, so it's, it's definitely him. The yeah, see. Was heartless. I believe something larger is afoot. A lot of murderous anger concerning industrialists. Might be something to look into. Up to the click with you. All right. Finished. The cool music there. Uh, Alright, on to the next one. I think there's only like three more of these left.